So uh, my name is Steve Wiley, and I'm the general manager and conference director of the Enterprise 2.0 conference, which is taking place in, in Boston in a couple of weeks uh, from June 22nd to June 25th. Sure. So I, I have a, a relatively long history in the conference business at this point. I think I've been doing conferences for about 15 years now. Uh, co-chair of the Interop Conference, which uh, in the U.S., uh, Interop is the largest business technology conference, uh, attracts about 17 or 18,000 people a year. Um, I then went into uh, launching and, and running some of our smaller events here at TechWeb, uh, so I've been involved in the, in the mobile space. Uh, most recently, I've been uh, very heavily involved in cloud computing. Uh, and then, of course, about four years ago, I had the opportunity to get involved with the Enterprise 2.0 area, and I'm now fully immersed in that and, and thoroughly enjoying it. So from a, a goal standpoint, you know, the, the, the conference is focused on the intersection of Web 2.0 and, and business and the enterprise. Uh, we're, of course, we're all very excited by the incredible innovation that's taking place as part of Web 2.0. Uh, but businesses have very different requirements. So our primary, primary goal for the conference has been to be at the center of this movement uh, that embraces Web 2.0 technologies, but also uh, does that within the context of real business environments. Uh, we also focus on how traditional enterprise applications are evolving to be more people-centric or social. Uh, many of these applications are moving quickly to adopt a uh, people-centric software approach and are incorporating much of this innovation uh, that's coming from the Web 2.0 world. So our, our second goal is to be at the forefront of, uh, of this change in enterprise applications. Uh, definitely. So I, I take a fairly broad uh, definition or view on Enterprise 2.0, uh, a fairly technology agnostic uh, viewpoint as well. You know, I, I feel I, that I align more closely with the end goals of Enterprise 2.0 or some of those underlying concept, concepts like uh, being more adaptive, uh, being more productive and, and efficient. So um, some of the underlying concepts that describe Enterprise 2.0, like greater transparency, self-organization, uh, open and more easily coupled applications, those I think are what we tend to focus on in developing the conference. The technologies that comprise this movement, uh, those will continue to evolve over time. I mean, I think we'll, what we'll see is uh, new iterations of what, what Enterprise 2.0 means from a technology standpoint, but those underlying sort of cultural and objectives, uh, those remain the same. I would say two or three years ago, uh, we were talking about a vision uh, for what you know what Enterprise 2.0 meant, uh, and there were very few concrete examples of of how Enterprise 2.0 was actually taking root. What I've seen over the last few years, and we certainly have a long way to go here as well is that there are many, many more uh, examples of Enterprise 2.0 actually uh, having profound business impact now. So there are numerous use cases emerging. The vast majority of those are, are smaller, more department level use cases, but um, more and more enterprise scale uh, use cases are, are, are emerging. And that's really how we've sort of focus the conferences around these UK use cases to bring, you know, the best examples of, of, uh, of Enterprise 2.0 to light. Yeah, you know, there, so we have several great uh, use cases emerging, uh, and we've invited a lot of those companies to um, speak at the conference. So just some examples like Booz, Allen Hamilton, uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, these companies will do in-depth sessions uh, that describe just how broadly and deeply uh, Enterprise 2.0 has been established in their companies. So, you know, I the, the, the attributes that I look for are more broad and deep uh, adoption of Enterprise 2.0. There, there are, like I said before, there are so many uh, smaller cases of, uh, of Enterprise 2.0 being deployed. I think uh, there are far fewer that, that are able to go across uh, the enterprise and are in the underlying fabric of the business. So, and there's, that, there's no surprise there. I mean, you know, Enterprise 2.0 is as much of a, a cultural shift as it is a technology shift. So, you can imagine in large organizations, um, you know, taking that kind of a, a change and challenge on uh, takes time. Uh, it takes both, you know, that bottoms up approach um, and, uh, and, and also requires buy-in from the leadership of, of businesses. Um, 
various companies are, are figuring this out at different stages, but we, we are starting to see some, some great enterprise scale uh, companies emerge. I, I think early on, uh, there was a bit of a, you know, Enterprise 2.0 created a little bit of a threat for leadership because all of a sudden, we were asking businesses to move from a top-down model to really embracing um, more of the bottom-up approach. Uh, I, I think what we've seen is that over the last few years, uh, business leaders are seeing the value of this but are also recognizing that they play a role in this. Uh, you know, their, their involvement is in setting a direction, um, encouraging their, their teams to, to adopt Enterprise 2.0 concepts and strategies. Um, so it, it really becomes a team effort and they're very much part of the equation. The companies that I, that I mentioned before, certainly Booz Allen Hamilton and Lockheed Martin are two that we've identified uh, having uh, been briefed on, on their applications. And I would say what, what made them qualify as leading enterprise 2.0 examples are just how, um, how bought in their organizations are into a lot of the technologies and concepts. So they're very far along in their adoption. Uh, that are very robust. They're, they're, they're using multiple pieces in a really cohesive, uh, cohesive environment. You know, we're also, uh, we, we have companies like Genentech, um, Harvard University, Allstate Insurance, JetBlue, Air, uh, Airways, uh, and many others also presenting at the conference in various pieces of the puzzle. And then something that we're doing this year that, that is new for our program is we've got a program called the Open Enterprise. And uh, this is a research project that we're doing with Stowe Boyd and Oliver Marks and has been taking uh, place over the last several months. And, and the core objective of the study is to identify that one company that really exemplifies Enterprise 2.0. So uh, for finding out who that company is, you'll have to come to the conference. We'll be announcing uh, that company from the main stage and then we'll get an opportunity to hear from a representative on, on what they're doing and, and how they've been successful. Uh, three wishes for the conference. I, I really hope uh, that the attendees take away a, a, a deep understanding of, of how companies are being successful with enterprise because of the, the many customer examples. We've, we've really tried to build our agenda uh, around um, you know, a hearing from, from people that are, are doing this now and hearing from their successes, but, but as you know, equally as important, hearing about their challenges or their failures, because uh, you know, we hear from our attendees time and time again that that's the best way for them to learn is, is to hear from their peers. Uh, another area where I hope attendees uh, really get a lot, of, a lot out of the program is in separating the hype from the reality. Um, you know, we've we've added a, a whole new theme into this year's program around social media. Uh, obviously, social media has exploded in the last year. Uh, largely driven by companies like Twitter and, and Facebook, you know, the public social networks. Uh, we're doing a lot of, uh, of our program dedicated to covering how social networks, um, what, you know, what they mean in an enterprise context. And, and no surprise, there's a, a vast amount of hype um, out there. And we really hope, as we've done in the past, that we will be part of the, uh, the answer in distilling that hype from the reality and, and, and helping companies better understand how they can embrace social media.